Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, if you check on 2024 finance bill amendment, you will see that non-salaried Kenyans are going to pay 1.5% from the gross income generated from their businesses. Of course, members of parliament voted in favor of what Ruto wanted to hear. <laughs> So in that budget policy statement 2024, you listen to Azmiu, they very clear that it contained drastic tax hike, which is very true, and Kenyans should uh, be ready for the new wave of taxation that worsen the situation in the country. So every adult should be prepared to be taxed by the Kenya Kwanda regime and they're going to pay not less than 27,000 Kenyan shillings. <laughs> so according to Azimio, this remains unfair, discriminative, and uh, unconstitutional. With this, two, uh, with this new move, now we want to go back to some of the statements that Ruto used to issue when he is somewhere, especially in Mount Kenya region. Then you try to compare with what the parliament has done. Now, necessarily, the person, this was, was shared by Citizen Digital, to pay 1.5% from gross income generated from business for housing levy fund. It was only salaried Kenyans, whether you are in the private sector or employed by the government. Then again, the employer was also paying some percentages. Yani we want to 1.5%, employer 1.5%. So we the employer 1.5% in my back yako. But above all, eh, the employer, once you're running business, you are still here to pay 1.5%. Though not for every employee, but you know that's gross income generated. Still it's huge money you are going to pay. So no one is out, but more has been brought in. Now, listen to this. Most of the time when Ruto went to Mount Kenya region, he incited the mountain that those who are paying, those who have the pay slip were the ones blocking them from, number one, owning affordable housing, number two, uh, creating job, that's employment, for those who are working on the site. That was William Samai Ruto. He still speak this, and we have shared those videos severally. Kenda kula nasema watu wana block mamba ya affordable housing, sisi tumeleta mamba ya job creation here. Now, majority of Kenyans who are in business, mostly kuna jami kama mbili tatu hapa. Mount Kenya, like most of them, they are in business. And Ruto told you that the person who is blocking you from owning the house and getting employment, they are the ones with the they sleep. Today they are coming for you. Today they are coming for you. They are now coming for your business. But you are told ni wale wa pay sleep. They are block nini kupata nini. Because I don't know what is going to convince you that Ruta was not wrong. When now you are supposed to pay 1.5% of your gross income generated from your business Yani, ata mama mboga anakujiwa. They will calculate your earnings. No wonder that insisting that people should pay, should, should buy good online using pay bill numbers. With that one, you can't run away from that. So, this means that like every Kenyan you are going to pay. Na hata, kana na biashara. There is what we call agro-business. Unafana ukulima. Or faida. They are coming for you. As long as you have a way of earning an income, a way of income, and it can be traced, they are coming for you. Beside all the other taxes you have been paying, 1.5% has to be paid. So, unabaki wapi. Incitement the mefika wapi. Those who are protesting, but we know they were paid. That's what I protest how. 
First of all, they should pay before they come on the street to protest. We are according to this magna discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please just consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, Amasa, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. By the way, some people are saying that they no longer get notification. So what we try to do is to go and check on the notification bell. If you are not turned it on, please turn it on so that every video we produce here, you will always get notified. Make sure that the bell has been turned on. And anytime we produce, uh, we release the video instantly, you will be notified. So also try to share out these videos. And again, make sure that we are also meeting in the comment section to make the you know the the to make to make the discussion vibrant and more helpful helpful to everyone. Now, those who are excited by Ruto, he was even in a Eldoret, was singing his own home count, inciting Kenyan that while we are gonna pay slip and they are attacking party cars. Today it is no longer about those who have pay slip. It's all about all Kenyans. So the court order said that it is discriminatory because it is targeting specific people. Kama ni usuru basi kwa kila mtu ama yesukweko. Azmio had different views from this. But none of their amendment, none of the amendment proposed by Azmio was accepted. Because they don't have enough numbers. Why? Because the Kenya Kwanda administration is always buying members of parliament, intimidating some when you have, you know, some corruption cases. They always wave your file. Kataka kuongea, they wave it and force you to vote in their favor. Sasa kabla hawajaeka hii maneno. Watu wamekuwa kufanya biashara yao ulipo ile ushuru wengine umeweka na hata bado ni nyingi tu but they were not coming for 1.5%. This time around they are coming for this. So boda boda you are not being left out. You are running business. These people soon they will start coming for you. Those who are running other small scale business. Watu wa saloon mnakujiwa. Watu wa Mpesa mnakujiwa. Watu wa kinyozi, you should prepare to pay for 1.5% of your gross income generated from your business. This is going to go for the affordable housing. Wale wa biashara ya reja reja, mnakujiwa. Including even hawkers, they are coming for you because you are in business. So, lijita hasla, mkasema wera ni wera, na waikawanekana kwamba watu wa peslip ndo wanafunga nyinyi, Muspate kazi. Today they are not only targeting those with pay slip. They want everyone here. Watu wakisi. The Gusi community. You are good in business. They are coming for you. You will have to pay this money. So. I don't know what Uto can go and tell people as of now. Because before. The issue was about what were pay slip. Ya wataki mpata kazi. Today atasema nini? Atasema nini? Again, he changed from owning affordable housing to creating employment. Which employment when you are overtaxing me? How do you create employment by overtaxing me? This is a regime that believes in taxing a nation to prosperity, something that will never be realized in any way. So, the poor of the poorest will be forced to pay for affordable housing, but the worst is that the name affordable is no longer going to be affordable in terms of owning those houses. They are still very much expensive. So imagine you force a poor person to pay for a house that they will never own. That is so Punitive. How to why is it crazy? Nyumba. So, what about killing an Okiangalia ile faida nyama mamboga na tengeneza? Highways come idea.
kulipia hizo nyumba zenye ziko na gharama ya 300,000 Kenyan shillings just to be considered then you have to pay about 3 million to own that house so mtalipia mpaka na maskini lakini hamtawahi ishi ndani ya hizi nyumba that's where we are as of now so it has moved from salaried the rich the dynasty they was talking about and now it has come down to the ground for the poor of the poorest everyone has to pay so if you have any way of earning some income they are targeting you they are coming for you sasa kweli zakayo amekataa kushuka 